Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Baseball with Head Coach JRTs, presented by your local Southern Quality Ford dealers and also Champagne Beverage. And just a reminder, on Monday night, we will be back taping our show at our regular place at Benny's Place right there in downtown Hammond. We're now going to take a look at our line profile of the week, and this week we're going to take a look at a former player of Coach JRTs who played all the way to the big leagues. Every baseball player has that dream, to one day make it to the big leagues. It's a dream that many chase, but only a few achieve. Meet Ryan Hughes, a ball player who made it to the major leagues, or as it's called, the show. Really appreciative to the Orioles. You know, they, they gave me the opportunity to get to the big leagues for the first time ever, and, and that was an amazing experience. And now I'm just looking forward to a, a fresh start with the Mets now. Ryan Hughes was born and raised just up I-59 in Picayune, Mississippi, and played for Southeastern head baseball coach J.R. Teagues and with assistant coach Matt Reiser when R. Teagues was coach at Pearl River Community College. Upon his departure from Pearl River in 2004, Hughes made his way through the minor league ranks with stops in such places like Vero Beach, Florida, Durham, North Carolina, and Norfolk, Virginia. Well, you know, this whole offseason I was a free agent again, and um, we, me and my agent were just trying to figure out the best opportunity for me. You know, I was able to sign with any club out there. I had a couple different workouts with a couple different teams. Ryan played in 14 games for the 2010 Baltimore Orioles and had 43 at-bats for the big club while hitting 213 and driving in four runs. Ryan set out a baseball last year, and while he hung around the game, it was killing him and said not to be playing the game. And being used to leaving, you know, around this time every year for the last eight years, it was tough. You know, I, I didn't really know what to do with myself, and I come out here and practice with these guys. You know, and these, these, these kids out here were tremendous. I mean, they, every day I get to come out here and practice with them. Coach lets me come out here and practice with them. Uh, and, and at the time, that's really all I had. During last season, Ryan lived in Hammond and hung around his former coach in the 2011 Lions. Ryan made a big impact on some of the Lions. Well, he's a great guy. I mean, uh, it's awesome having him around. Uh, he shares a lot of leadership and things uh, that he's learned along the way at the big league level. Um, it's great seeing him uh, take BP with us every day because you get to see exactly what it's supposed to look like. And just having him around is, is great. Harry Slade was one of those who looked up to Ryan. Harry from Maryland is a big Orioles fan, and with Ryan having played for the Orioles, those two hit it off right away. Uh, I remember a couple years ago going to uh, Camden Yards and watching him play with the Orioles. Uh, it's, you know, when he goes off for spring training, you know, it's, it's going to be like, uh, it's going to stink because he's always around, but, you know, it, he's always, you know, tweeting and keeping in touch with everybody, so it, it'll be like we never let, uh, lost him. Just last week, Ryan got the call he had been waiting for. He signed a contract with the New York Mets and will report to their spring training facility this week. Coach Ryan Hughes, a very special player, made it all the way to the big leagues, uh, got some quality at bats for the Baltimore Orioles, and, and now he's with the Mets organization. And this is a guy who's always around the ballpark and, and loves Lion baseball. You know, Ryan's one of the special hitters that you coach. You know, Ryan came into us and really developed as a young man and worked his tail off and, and my first play to make the big leagues and that was a special moment I remember when he called us that night to tell us he made it and, you know he's one of the best hitters best pure hitters I've ever seen. All right it's now time to take a look at our tip of the week with coach JRTs. Hi welcome to this week's tip of the week. This week's tip of the week is going to talk about how to throw a change up. To help demonstrate that I'm going to use junior right-handed pitcher Logo Rydell. A changeup is nothing more than a field pitch. It's not one exact way to throw a change up. There's a couple different type grips we're going to talk about those grips now. As you're going to see Logan, the grip that Logan uses when he throws a changeup is like an okay changeup. He's got his three fingers around the baseball nice and relaxed. He's got the thumb and the pointer finger making like the okay sign. He sits it back in his hand to where the grip changes the speed, not the arm velocity. A couple of really keys on the, on the changeup are, number one, you got to keep your main arm speed. Your arm speed's got to be the same as your fastball and let the grip, number two, let the grip change the speed of the baseball. We showed you the okay changeup. A couple of other changeup grips that you can do. If you throw your two seam fastball just like this, if you want to change that to a changeup, just slide your middle finger and your ring finger inside, put your thumb up to the second seam, relax your outside fingers, and throw it just like you would your two seam fastball. That's an easy way to learn how to throw a changeup. And the third way is if you throw, hold your four seam fastball here, just slide your other finger on top, Relax your fingers, and you want to really just pull straight down on your changeup and let it slide out your fingertips. Those are three different ways that young pitchers can experiment with the changeup grip so they can see what fits best for them. And that is this week's Tip of the Week. Coach, we see Logan Rydell there showing the, 
uh, how, how to grip the changeup and throw the changeup. And this is a very effective pitch that all of the pitchers on your staff really utilize. Absolutely. It's actually Logan's best pitch, and he shows and demonstrates three different grips of changeup. Changeup is nothing more than the field pitch. Young pitchers is a great, safe pitch. Right. Good secondary pitch for them to learn. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we're going to take a look at the scout report for this weekend right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with Head Coach J.R.T.'s, presented by your local Southern Quality Ford dealers and also Champagne Beverage. Stay with us.